Howdy all, it's Cody from the Keepers of Nerddom. I'm gonna actually review today uh, two Pokemon League battle decks. Uh, Pre-built things that honestly are really neat and you get some really awesome cards for a pretty good value, especially if you get some decent sales. Obviously these are older and aren't like, I don't, I doubt this is tournament legal at this point, or if it is, it's still not gonna win things comparatively, but really, really cool stuff. And just as a side note, Two bucks for these sleeves, and I don't even like Mimikyu necessarily, but great deal for this, and honestly, those are pretty cool sleeves. The shininess to those little sparkles and around the edges of Mimikyu, pretty cool. So we'll just go through really quickly what's in these boxes and sh show and look at the uh, really special stuff. we got a Battle League box. We have two of them, actually. The new other one is a little newer. And uh, this one, though, just really caught my eye because, one, Radiant Greninja, but also I really like any water-type stuff. So, why not? All right, so we've got our instructions, uh, how to upgrade your League Battle deck. That's kind of funny. Um, what would you need? You could get some more stuff. Kiram V and Kiram V Max. Uh, yeah, nice. It gives you recommendations on things you could uh, take out and put in. That's interesting. That's cool. I think I have some of these cards. That's uh, that's neat. Um, and then in kind of an intro of what this is. That's cool. All right, uh, we got your poison and burn markers, and then we got this. Let's see. Oh, okay. There's the. Let's see if the dice is as cool as it looked on the picture. We've got our battle deck box, our scan card. So much for that. And then I guess that's for free for everybody if you want it. If it's not scanned in already. So cool. And then our dice and Ooh. I kinda like that. Yeah, it is see-through. Just a little it bit. Is? It's fun. Just slightly. Hmm. I like that. It. It's cool. And then I kinda like the dice. Don't Whoa, you? until you get to the three. Oh. <laughs> that's not a three. What is that, because there's a three, that's a two. <laughs> I am so confused. Weird. All right, so two's got something I'll have to clean off. That's funny. Interesting, okay. And then, and then got... the V-Star token. I don't really see very, I don't really, we don't really use that. Yeah. All right, let's see. And these will all be just normal versions of the, the cards. Trekking shoes, top card of your deck. Put that in your hand if you don't discard the card and draw a card. Always good. Bibarel ability. Once during your turn, you may draw cards since you have five cards in your hand. Oh, that's actually really good. And whatever on that. Melanie, attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V. If you do, draw three cards. That's good. Boss's orders. Switch Pokemon on your opponent's side. That's Battle VIP pass. You can only use this card during your first turn. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them on your bench, then shuffle your deck. And I think there's like four of them in here. Choice Belt. The attacks of this Pokemon, this card is attached to do 30 more damage for, to your opponent's active Pokemon V. So newer decks, obviously, this wouldn't do anything. Bidoof's Irita. This is going to be a staple of this deck. Search your deck for a water Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them and put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck, especially if you have Capacious Buckets. She's bonkers good. Even just the regular, even though it's not cool looking necessarily. Just great. Uh, Echoing Horn. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. Oh, so you could put something back on that you want to get rid of or fill up their bench to mess with them. The VIP, energy search, search your deck for a basic energy card, reveal it and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Why is this not Capacious Bucket? That's weird. I love the name Capacious Bucket. Yeah. Uh, Lake Acuity, all Pokemon that have any water or fighting energy attached, take 20 less damage from your opponent's Pokemon. Hisuian Heavy Ball. Look at your face-down prize cards. You may reveal basic Pokemon you find there. Put it in your hand and put this Hisuian Heavy Ball in its place as a face-down prize card. So if you get something in your prizes, you can use this to... And then you shuffle your face-down prize card. That's cool. Another boss's orders. Trekking shoes. Definitely some things I think I'm going to have to change Whoa. out here. Ultra Ball. You have to discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. All right. Cool. Switch. Uh, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Always nice. Clara. Choose one or both. Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile in your hand. And put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile in your hand. Not okay. bad. Pretty good. Yep. Gather the crew. Search your deck. It has no energy cost. For two basic Pokemon and put them on your bench and self your deck. Nice. Choice Belt. Bidoof. I think there's like three or four of the battle. There's four. VIP pass. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Roxanne, you can only use this card only. You can use this card only if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining, so they have okay. to at least be 
further into the game. Each player shuffles their hand in their deck, then you draw six cards, and your opponent draws two. <laughs> nice. So it gives you a chance to kind of catch up. Mana fee. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. That's cool. That's good, actually. Yeah. Interesting. I'm thinking so far that this is not a bad deck. We might just have to change a couple of things. Yeah, it's but... it's all just let's get lots of Pokemon fast and draw cards. I mean, the arena is nice, but there's not enough energy going on. So let's look at the actual... Uh, cards you Cool cards. cards. Yeah, the cool play. cards. Let's just go through it really fast. Origin, Form, Palkia V. Search your deck for a stadium card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's for one energy. And then Hydro Break during your next turn for three energies. This Pokemon can't attack. It's 200 damage. That's pretty good. Subspace Swell, two energy, 60 plus. This attack does 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. That's amazing. Star Portal ability. During your turn, you may attach up to three water energy cards from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you like. And you can only use that once per game. And then we need to get into Radiant Graninja. Which is a, actually a pretty good card. I don't remember how to get in this. Oh, that's... That's okay. not a really cool card. Also. Boom, 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 boom. We'll definitely be yeah. sleeving those. And then Radiant Greninja obviously is the... You must discard an energy card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. Amazing. So powerful. And then Moonlight Shuriken for three energies. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. It does 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Wherever you want it to go. Pretty awesome. So that's our first uh, battle deck. I think, honestly, it's got some good cards in it, and uh, the Aritas are worth their weight in gold just anyway, but no Capacious Bucket kind of makes that a little sad. But overall, that will play very nice. And our next one is very interesting. It is a Mew and Gardevoir EX deck. It's a little newer, but it's still got some cards that are older, and you'll see a Radiant Greninja back there with Luminon V. So there was a time where this stuff was legal together. And so we had time with the EXs and the, the Vs being around. It's kind of neat to have that. And then, unfortunately, you had cards that didn't target the EXs. All right, let's look at our stuff. We got our explanation stuff, that the poison stuff. Uh, hang on, because we need to be careful here. So that way we don't give away your code card, because I accidentally did. Let's check. Oh, it's a little box. Okay, this is an accessory box, according to That's funny. the thing. How do you open it? Oh, wait. Got okay. It. I think it has the dice in it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, I really like those dice here. We'll open them up here. Those purples are very similar to mine. Mm, yours is I might trade you for mine if you want them. Mm, I kind of like these ones. Okay, fair enough. Besides, I have so many dice. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. this is... I love this dice. Ooh. It looks a little really more pretty. colorful, though, on the... Box. Yeah, on the box. I like that, though. But I, I trade for it, it if you want it. Mm, but, okay. I kind of want to keep it. That's fair. So, let's go through and see what this battle deck is. So, a Drifloon. Uh, nothing really special there. Oh, they're actually set up, like, together. Iono, each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player puts any cards on the bottom of their deck, in this way each player draws a card for each of their remaining prize cards. Huh. Yeah, she also has like a bow. Yeah, that's there. actually pretty interesting. So you lose your hand and it goes Four. to the bottom. <laughs> Professor's Research, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Very nice. Arvin. Search yeah. your deck for an item card and a Pokemon tool card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Okay. That's good. That's actually really good. Okay. Boss's orders. Oh, that's a new one. That's oh. creepy looking. Switch it's in creepy, bench like Pokemon it. to the active I think spot. It's really strong. And it's too. your opponents. Jacques, we were wondering about this card. And there's only one. Search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. That's awesome. That's not bad at all. Artisan. Uh, once during each player's turn, this is a stadium that player may search their deck for a basic Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box and put it on their bench. Then that player shuffles their deck. It can't be an EX, V, anything that has rule boxes and shinies, obviously. There's two. Nest Ball, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it in your bench, then shuffle your deck. Nice. Hmm. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Ultra Ball we've already seen. I, I have that kind. Yeah, rare candy. Mine didn't have any rare candy. It's kind of weird. Isn't rare candy a pretty good one? Yeah, choose one of your basic Pokemon to play. If you have a stage two card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card onto the basic Pokemon to evolve it, skipping the stage one. You can't use this card during your first turn on a basic Pokemon that's put into play this turn. So okay. you just get to skip a stage, which is cool. Three of them. Super Rod. 
Shuffle up to three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your Discord pile into your deck. Why does it have a Pokeball? I, I don't know. Bravery Charm, the basic Pokemon this card is attached to, gets plus 50 HP. That's cool. Wow, a lot. Your energies. Oh, and then here's... We haven't seen any Pokemon yet. That's wild. This is a small Pokemon deck. Kralia, you must discard a card from your hand or use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. I have a, lot. I have a couple of Kralias. So you have Kralias, and then you also have a Radiant Greninja in this. And they... Oh, wow. And I do have some... Ralts. Memory skip. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon can't use that attack. And actually, the Ultra Balls, I just realized that Curlia was... That's weird. Okay, four Ralts, four Curlias, and a Cresselia. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moonglow, reverse. Move two damage counters from each of your Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Lunar Blast for three energy, 110. Uh, uh, looks like These are like, the ones. Whew. It looks okay. like it's like in space. So what we got here? Now we're going to look at our cards that we mainly got this far. Wanna... Okay. There you go. Yeah, I can't hold them. Okay. So Mew... Oh, I love the... The shiny here. Mew EX, only 180 HP because it's it's just a, uh, no, it's basic. Ability restart. Once during your turn, you may draw cards and see so you have three cards in your hand. So if you're really running low, useful. Genome hacking, three energy. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Yep. Very cool. A very pretty card. I saw the Greninja card. Yep. The uh, Luminon V. Uh, it's ability when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn. You may search your deck for a support card, reveal it, supporter card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck, which I think now stadiums count as that. No, they're just stadiums. Never mind. Good. Okay, an Aqua Return. Greninja. Three energy. Shuffle this Pokemon. I'll attach cards into your deck. Radiant Greninja, Greninja we've seen. And now, Kara, is this your first one? believe so. I think it is, and uh, just such a pretty card. I wish it didn't have the yellow border, but still, it's beautiful. <laughs> then the Gardevoir EX, is, there's three of them here, <laughs> and Psychic Embrace, it's an ability that's insane. It's really good. By the way, pretty <laughs> card as I'll get out. Ability, as often <laughs> as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Psychic Pokemon. If you attach energy to a Pokemon in this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. You can't use this ability on a Pokemon that would be knocked out. And then for three energies, Miracle Force, 190 damage. This Pokemon recovers from all special conditions. 310 HP for an EX. So it takes a little bit to evolve. But what's interesting is if you get this going, uh, especially with the, uh, what is it, the Ultra Ball, you have to discard two cards, throw all your energy you can into the discard pile. So that way you can equip it immediately. And you can Pretty nutty what can happen with this deck because it's all about discarding stuff to put more energy on fast and just power up really quick for a league battle deck this one's really really good i think mine's got some issues that are interesting to work around but i'm pretty excited to try what happened right here what what do you mean what am i looking at you can't see it it has like a little black streak Ooh. where where what are we talking like right there what oh yeah, and I don't one, know. And one of the things about all of these things, because probably the people couldn't think about what? doing it, like any other Pokemon, because it would be hard to choose. That's true. They could have That's just true. do a Remax Pikachu. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your insights on that. We appreciate it. I'm just saying. Ben Cody from the Keepers of Nerddom. And is there anything else we need to share about care? No, but it really does work. You just open it. Yeah. You like that little box, don't you? I do. I just wish it wasn't cardboard. Oh, yeah. That's the problem. Cardboard. Ta-da. All right. Well, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. Bye, y'all.